Is this a complaint? Are you telling me that I don't satisfy you? Is that what you're saying? Oh, you. My most excellent lover, you satisfy me all the time. But I am talking about this. What is this? What does this look like? Well, if it was a class project, I'd say you get an A for the creative use of color and for accurately portraying a tree. But I would take off a few points for the smudges there. Very funny. This just <laughs> happens to be the Cirillo family tree. Oh. Well, do you keep it under your bed for reference or what? Very, very funny. Very funny. You know, you should be very grateful. I see it a pass the night for this. This is like a, this is like a visual aid, you know? You should know everybody that you're going to be meeting tonight. It's kind of like a scorecard. All these people are going to be at your parents' house tonight for dinner? That must be half of Brooklyn. No, 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 no. See, it, it looks like that just because they're, like, all spread out, you know? And besides, my sister Franny here, you know, she's going to be on vacation in the Bahamas. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. a relief. See, you already know my ma, Gloria. This is her sister, Grace. What a pistol she is, let me tell you. Loves to give out advice, yakety, yakety, yak, all the time. Used to drive a cab in New York until she got a masseuse license. Now she drives a limo with one of those cute little chauffeur caps and everything. Very adorable. Okay, then there's my oldest brother, Mark. Mark, he's the accountant. Mm. Oh, so the numbers thing runs in the family. Oh, no, 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 honey. You never say numbers thing in Brooklyn. It means a completely different thing, all right? Now, <clears throat> Mark is married to Noreen, and they have two boys, eight years old, twins, Vincent and Patrick. Oh, honey, come on, no. Don't distract me. Come here. Look. Okay? Now, Mark, the accountant, as I said before. Oh, by the way, the two boys? Yes. Dennis the Menace has got absolutely nothing on them. They run wild. They're insane. Oh, by the way, another thing. Don't mention the idle rich to Mark, okay? Because he's always busting my chops about being in the music business instead of following in his footsteps, well, you know? Got, he's got a point there, actually. Perish the thought. All right. Now, after Mark comes, Louie. Louie. Louis. My wonderful Louie. He's a contractor. He's 34. I think he is the best. He could fix anything. He could build anything. I used to worship him as a kid. I used to run around following him like a little puppy dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't He's adorable. Say. I learn everything from him. You don't say. Absolutely not. Come on now. Look at this. This is very important. Louie's wife, Dee Dee. Oh, I forgot to add in little Angie. Angie, not that she really looks like a real person yet. Angie. Okay, there you go. Angie. Okay. Oh, and then there's my sister Franny. She's 29. But she won't be there. No, she won't be there. But she works in Manhattan. So, you know, like one of those baby magazines she sells ad space. Drives my mother absolutely crazy. She's always like, Franny, what do you know about babies, huh? I mean, why don't you get married? Go have a few of your own. It's ridiculous. Then comes my brother Chuck. Mm -hmm. Now, Chuck, he's six years older than me. But you won't meet him either because he lives in San Francisco. He works for one of those oil companies. He's a chemical engineer. But mm -hmm. I can't remember what the name of the company is, so. Scratch Chuck. Scratch Chuck. Then, of course, there's going to be Grandma and Grandpa Cerullo. Mm -hmm. They're my pop's folks. Mm -hmm. They are a bunch of characters, as well as my pop is. Right. Carmine Cerullo. And what about uh, your mother's parents? They're going to be in Florida for the winter time. See, it's not so bad after all, huh? Can I take this with me? No, 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 come on, come on. It'll be easy. You'll memorize it. Piece of cake. Lois, what have I gotten myself into? Is this Gloria's revenge or what? Are you kidding me? My mother does not set up one of these dinners and invite all of the family for just anybody. This is the ultimate sign of approval here. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think I need a good stiff drink. A stimulant? I think I have a much better idea. Where 
was I? Who have I left out so far? Uh, let's see. The cousins, yes, and Grace's children, they will absolutely positively be there. Jerry is a stockbroker. You know, sells commodities, whatever, stuff like that. Has a great little bachelor pad down in Battery Park City, you know. Makes like a gazillion dollars a year, something like that. I mean, 80 grand at the very least. Wow, that much. Yeah, it's a lot of cold medicine, I Eddie. It's hard to imagine anyone making that much money. Well, you know what? You just wait. We get a couple of CDs grooving and you get really hot. Pow! I'm telling you, we're talking major gigs here. Prob probably some endorsements, right? <laughs> Endor I'm telling you, you're going to be like famous. Fame and fortune, your name, up in lights. You know what I'm saying? It will be amazing to you how much De Niro you can make out of doing the thing you were born to do, Eddie Mayne. What I was born to do? <laughs> well, uh, the, uh, the other thing you were born to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no way, no way, no way. Clear that up. Yeah, okay. <sighs> so, where was I? Oh, yeah. Jerry's sister, Geraldine. Now, she is another story. She's an actress. Well, she's sort of an actress. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's very dramatic. Very bohemian, you know. She lives with my sister Franny down in the village. They share a really cute place. So you got that? Jerry and Geraldine. And don't tell me their father's name is Gerald. Very good. I'm proud of you. Thank Gerald you. Moore Sr., Bensonhurst's mm -hmm. premium baker. Unfortunately, you will not meet Gerald Moore Sr. because he rarely strays away from the bakery. I think I just reached my genealogical saturation point. So, why don't you give me a kiss, good luck, and go get those cute little buns of yours into some clothes, or we're going to be late <gasps> to dinner. Oh, you know, Brooklyn. that is absolutely right. There was one thing my mom will not tolerate, is anybody being late for one of the dinner. <laughs> Actually, I'm a little more concerned about that uh, flushed, dewy-eyed, I just made love with reckless abandon look on your face. Mothers pick up on those things. Well... <laughs> She'll just have to get used to it because the look is here to stay. Mm. Mm. But, however, she uh, might object to you showing up in the uh, buff, gorgeous as you are. So, hop to it. 